Hello guys, this is the Polyglot Programmer and today we're going to talk about global signals. In the last video we did talk about what are signals and how are how signals are used in the most common manner, I would say. And in the and the video has some really good examples, so I really recommend you going and checking that out. I'm gonna add the link to the description, so please don't hesitate on doing that. And but the focus on today is global signals, and you're gonna see that it's a really useful feature for Godot. And it's really useful when you need to notify one scene uh, or you need to update something in a scene that is completely unrelated to another. But is that you can actually expand extend on top of that because it 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 really makes your application really decouple. And I'm gonna make a really simple example here and you're gonna see how how that is, right? So here we have a plain project, right? So we have a 2D scene here and like as always I'm gonna I'm gonna name this guy main scene I'm gonna save it okay right so what are we going to do on this main scene on this main scene let's just go ahead and add a button um, and I'm gonna say click me okay I'm gonna add this button here right and let's also add a script here I don't need any of this. Um, in our button, let's use a regular signal, right? Uh, on button press, okay. And here, I'm just gonna say, uh, um, main scene on button pressed, right? So if we we play this now. You can see here on our log. Great, perfect. And so to make use of global signals, we have to make use of another feature of Godot, which is the auto load. And the auto load for Godot is, is basically Godot's version of the singleton pattern, right? And lets you basically access the file or a class from anywhere in your project without actually having to instance yourself. Right, and there are a number of benefits that come come with that, and I'm also gonna add a link to the documentation in the in the description, so you can check that out if you wanna uh, read a, a bit further. But well, basically that class is always gonna be loaded no matter what scene you are. Uh, you can store global variables uh, or any player information that you might think it's useful. Uh, you can handle scene switching or between sync transitions and whatnot. And another very useful feature is also to uh, use as a signals manager, which is what we're gonna do. So the first thing to do to use it as a signals manager is that we're gonna create a file here, a script, and I'm gonna call it a signal manager. And it needs to inherit from node, right? Um, and I'm gonna open this. I don't need any of this. I'm just gonna create a simple signal here just to exemplify signal as we saw in our last video. Again, don't forget to go and check that out if you haven't yet. Um, I'm gonna just call it button pressed, right? Save, okay, stop complaining, great. Now, uh, this isn't a singleton per se yet, and this isn't auto loading yet, so I can't really access that uh, directly from my uh, main scene or from any other um, script or scene. So to do that, after you create this guy, you just you have to come here to project, project settings, and you come to auto load here. Here you're just gonna look for your script. It's this guy. I'm gonna give you a little name here. You can change it if you want to. Add. And there you go, it's enabled. And this is the name that you're gonna use to access. Great, after you did that, um, it's super simple. It's, you, you go back to whatever um, script you wanna access that uh, that file, that class from. And you're just gonna come here and gonna say, uh, signal manager, awesome. Uh, what was the name of the, the signal that we button pressed? Emit. And um, 
and that's it and then uh, just by doing that we are uh we're emitting the signal to whoever is interested right at this point nobody's interested yet so we're going to take care of that right now so right now we're going to create another scene we're gonna uh another no let's let's just add a color act here uh square as i always i like to use a square famous square uh let's just add a little color to it yeah oh no that's it. you can stay there yeah let's just save this guy okay now this is just a plain square right and we're gonna add this square to the screen. It doesn't really need to be on the screen, to be honest, but like we can just add it here, just to be pretty. Just so everybody's kind of in the same place. Because we could also make this uh, react visually, which is, we're not gonna do this now because it's not the focus of the video, but uh, it's just so you guys can see what's going on. Um, and in this square, we're gonna add a script, right? And on the script, I don't need this process here. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't need this process. So on ready, just like we saw it on our last video. Again, don't forget to go check check that out. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna call the signals manager. We're gonna get our our signal. We're gonna connect. And here you can see that it's only asking for one um one parameter right and this parameter is just going to be the name of the function that we're going to call right um on button pressed received let's call this right um and it's complaining because this function doesn't exist yet so we're going to create this now um, and now we're just gonna let's just print it out print something out right so let's call it uh let's say uh square and the name of the function just so we know where it came from because we already have a lock from the other guy right um and this should be it let's see it working there you go uh, here we have the log from the button itself and here we have the log that is uh, from the receiving function on the square and the most amazing part about this stuff it's that it's all decoupled right main scene doesn't care who is sending this to right this guy here is it's just emitting to avoid and whoever is catching up and square has no idea where this came from so we this is this is what's most amazing about this pattern and this is why it's so useful it's completely one scene is completely decoupled from the other and this can be useful in so many different ways um before i leave you guys i'm just gonna i'm just gonna say something that is it, it, i think it's very important to say that when you use uh go dot uh auto load auto load it's not a true singleton because it still allows you to create uh more instances of that own class right um which in the in the true single to pattern single to pattern you would not be able to create more than one instance in your in your in your project right um and so that's why it's kind of go dot's version of a singleton um right and what actually happens when you auto load the script is that a node is created in your project and that node is added to the root viewport before any other scenes are loaded right so that's that's what's happening behind the scenes um and that's it guys i hope this was very informative i hope this can help you guys uh, in your own projects uh please let me know if you have any questions don't forget to like and subscribe uh, just click the button below here and see you next time. That's it.